Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Last episode we arrived at Sunstone Village. We saw Dragon Master Eamon who wanted to see Gabriel. We got a few side quests to do. If we get a feather from the top of Peppermint Mountain, give it to this dude, we can get Fly which will be super nice. We got the Pink Lily to give to um, some some people <laughs> which we're, um, we're going to do later this episode. It's going to be a very, very bizarre trip let's just say. And we started coming through the jungle and we battled a Mega Venusaur. So some weird things have been going around the uh, the region. We saw a shiny red Mega Gyarados last episode, which we battled, no, two episodes ago. And then we battled the uh, Mega Venusaur this episode. So why are there permanent Megas? Odd, but ooh, the tall grass. All right, so we're gonna make our way through the grass. The Cypher there, yo. Aha, I've got you. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, they've got us. All right, two level 58 ciphers. Shouldn't be too difficult. All right, let's go. I'm gonna save my brave bird. I'm gonna get aerial ace because I feel like I might end up taking myself out otherwise. But last episode we got a life orb, we got a flame orb, and we got a toxic orb, which was really nice. And oh, dude, you're so weak, so weak. Ah, oh, on air slash double like and dom fan. That's oh, and we got flinched. So weak. Uh, let's finish you off. Let's go for that, and then we can finish you off with rollout. Go on, go on, go on. Nice. And then the rollout can hopefully finish off this cypher. Yay! No flinch. Good, good. Alright. Stupid cypher. Anything on this rock? Nope. Just gonna check around here in case there's like some free stuff we can pick up, but doesn't seem like it. All right, oh, power we're off. Let's pop another one and start making our way through. I think we're a little bit weak, so I'm gonna quickly heal up in case we get into a uh, a fight or two. Not gonna waste a revive though. And any money I find a healing station right now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! The moment I heal up, I knew I would find a healing station. Oh, dude. <laughs> what is... Just... Okay? God. Oh. Big bird. What was that? I guess we'll find out very soon. Yo. Ah, that'd be Moltres. Who? The great bird of fire that rests atop Peppermint Mountain. Arr. She'd be the most powerful creature on this fair isle. Arr. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, what we got here? Two lava cookies. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Oh, oh great. And now you're here. Things just couldn't be better. Uh, hi. That's fine, it's fine. And now they're gone. Ooh. So, Peppermint Mountain, floor one. <coughs> it's so steamy in here. That's pretty steamy. The hot lava fumes collide with the cold air to generate uh, precipitation. Neat. Click. <laughs> Ooh, I, I love the effect, like how it looks like we're really high up. Like, it does look really, really cool. Is that lava down there? Wouldn't that make this a volcano? Do I look like a geologist? <laughs> it's funny because this exact, like, thing was said um, last episode we spoke to an NPC and said, wouldn't that make it a volcano? And they just replied, do I look like a geologist? And now we do the exact same thing. Whoa, don't stop me like that, bro. Could have fallen off. <laughs> Wouldn't want that, would we? Or would we? Ha ha! Let's push him off. And then we run. Cheese it. Uh, let's go this way. Yo. The elevator's out of order, so it looks like you're uh, hiking, bro. Sorry, boy. <laughs> Why would you laugh at me? It's just mean. Sorry, I got swept up in the moment. Thanks. Uh, yo. Heaven or hell, let's rock. Let's do it. What have you got? Four Pokemon, two weeks, that's fine. Tropius and Dragonair, we can go for a Heat Wave and an Aerial Ace just to make sure we finish off that Tropius just in case. Just in case. But at least we'll land an attack this time because last episode Typhlosion was just, um, I don't know, his accuracy was just a little, a little bad, a little bad. 
just was not just landing the hits, which we really desperately needed. All right, gonna Thunder Punch and close combat the Aerodactyl. Serpent's been enough to take you out. Iron Head. We're good, we're good. Nice. Now just a Dragonair, unless... Still wanna make it 2v2? And it's... 2v1, perfect. That's what we want. That's Flamethrower, then Aerial Ace. Not bad damage, not bad at all. Good. Right, so I'm gonna use uh, Typhlosion until it gets to level 60. Sharpedo, uh, Thunder Punch, and close combat. Go on, go on, one shot it, one shot it, ah. Stupid rough skin as well. Good thing is we outspeed, drop, uh, outspeed Sharpedo, which is nice. But the rough skin, the life orb damage, is there's quite a bit. Definitely gonna drink some milk after this. Get some HP back. Nice. So my goal this episode is to try to get everyone to at least 60. So I think once we're 60, we should be fine. Although knowing my luck, when we get to the tournament, we probably want to be about 65. Uh, you're out your element, boy. Am I? Am I really? Cargo this shoot? Mm, nah, switch out. Let's go the Don. The Don's got this. Good, not very effective. Then we go for Earthquake. Watch that HP go down. Woo. Come on, have some weak to uh good Back to ground. Just keep spamming Earthquake. Nice, critical hit. Don't think we needed it, but like I always say, it's, it's nice to get a critical hit, you know? Just show the game, gives you a little bit of love here and there. You're gonna have Levitate. Let's go for a roll out. And then we'll keep going for this and hopefully take you out. But I feel like you're gonna end up taking me out before I can even take you out. Now that I'm poisoned, you're definitely gonna take me out next turn. That sucks. Unless we wanna get a crit. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Dude, the Don! The Don is amazing! He is an absolute legend! Ask for a crit and the Don's just like, I got you bro, I got you. I ain't I ain't losing to some wheezing. Dude, the Don is an absolute legend. Man, would you check out this uh, fertile soil? I could grow things here. Do it, dude, do it. I'm just... The Don, man. The Don is like, just, <sighs> I love him. Wait, what are we battling again? Talk, okay. Gonna go back into the Don. Like, honestly, I think if I had to make a list of top 25 favorite Pokemon, like, I think the Don, Don fan's definitely gonna make it just because of how amazing it's treated me in like these games recently. I definitely could put him on top 10, cause like, my top 10 is like, kind of like solidified. But it definitely make like top 25. Maybe even top 15. I don't know. Like I never thought of anything above a top 10, you know? But if I did have to, he would definitely, definitely be in there. Don Fan is just, oh, treats me so well. But I, I think definitely in this game, he's my favorite Pokemon. Hands down. The Don Fan is just, Whew, absolute legend. He has just carried me through so many battles and he just, he doesn't give up. Just absolute legend, dude. Still can't believe that crit. All right, let's start potion up, or oh, milk up. Milk up, bro. All right, any more trainers? I'm gonna fight all the trainers because we do need the XP. And the fog is blocking my ability to sense your aura. Oh. Good thing then, she can't read my moves. Chimeca Wee. Go Heat Wave. Got the burn at least. I think if we win this battle, we should get 60. And then I can lead off with Star Raptor maybe to get a 60. Oh, close. Okay. 
I'm gonna stay in. It's gonna be kind of close. If I can win this battle, we definitely get 60. Just don't go for like ancient power or something like that. And oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. One more. Good, 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 good. Level 60. Uh, Slowbro, we are gonna go Volteon. Just discharge it, finish you off. Oh man, I was hoping the HP would just completely deplenish, but oh well. There we go. Right, so I'm actually gonna lead off. Ooh, you want to learn close combat? Let's go, boy. Goodbye, magical leaf. I mean, next week we need to get rid of Calm Mind, 100%. But Gallade is getting better, man. People telling me to replace Gallade. It's like, nah. Nah. He's he's gonna he's just he's just a um He's a grower, not a shower, you know? He, he's growing. He's gonna be very good soon. I hope. <laughs> but he's getting there, you know? He's getting there. He's just like he's he's our number one fan at the moment. Just He's like, yo, you can do it, guys. I believe in you. He's like, do, do you want to fight? Nah, not yet, mate. Not yet. I'll, I'll do it soon. I'll do it soon. <laughs> soon. Soon. What? He just needs one more move. And that kind of sucks. Right. Uh, you know what? He can actually win now. He's almost level 60. Let me take XP share off him and put it on something else. I don't know, but... Is there a headbutt? Hey, if we can get, like, I don't know, an ice, fire, thunder punch for him or something, that could be really good. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, not bad, not bad. But I'm not sure what other moves he's gonna learn leveling up. Just took a long time to get him, you know, so I feel like we've probably missed out on a few moves he can learn through level up. Wait, what's over here? Not oh, nothing. Uh, what we got here? We have charcoal. Ooh. Okay, give that to tough lotion. Make it a little bit stronger. Now we're getting some pretty decent uh, items. There's supposed to be an ancient Pokemon living deep inside this mountain. His fire type attacks are responsible for heating up the pools of magma. We're gonna find this Pokemon. No idea. Guess you could try looking under rocks and stuff. Thanks, I'll do that. I'm gonna look under this rock right here just in case. Uh, 58. Uh, let's go this way. Really takes us yay to an item. <laughs> There's not one down there we'll grab. Gotta grab everything. Oh, yo. Battling wild Pokemon is getting boring. I know, I'll battle you instead, right? Right? After a while, it gets kind of boring. Uh, definitely a close combat and fake out. Oh, you suck. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's go. One shot on that bad boy. Not today, Ambipom. Not today. Do you know what? One thing that actually, I think the four of it kind of freaks me out a little bit. And that is if we ever get a Detective Pikachu 2, like movie, which I don't know if we'll ever get. Because it kind of like, I'm not going to spoil it, but it, it, it had like a, a, you know, a closed ending. Unlike the game, which uh, we know we're going to sequel to the game, which is great. Uh, I went on a tangent, I forgot what I'm saying. Um, or what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to go to Kyber. Yeah, but in, in the movie, if you've seen the movie, um, Apom looks kind of horrifying. It really does. And if they ever did a sequel, I'd hate to think what an Ambipom looks like. I'm not sure if it's actually in the movie or not, because I only watched it in the cinema and I can't remember if there was an ambipom but I definitely remember the apom scene or the many apoms but I just think an ambipom could look just just so scary but gotta give it a gotta, gotta give it a detective pikachu I thought that was a banging film I thought it was really good like I went in with low expectations because video game movies are, are usually usually pretty terrible the last two I watched um Detective Pikachu and Sonic were surprisingly very, very good. Like the Sonic one, very good. 
Like, I, I loved the Sonic movie. I thought it was great. And now we're going to sequel for that as well, which is sweet. Just hope maybe we'll get a sequel to, to uh, Detective Pikachu or like another live action Pokemon movie. Actually, I think about it. I swear, like, I remember hearing like something about they're making a Pokemon movie with like I mean, red and blue or something, like a maybe a live action or. Either I dreamed it, if I dreamed it, that would be sick. But I think, I feel like I remember hearing something like that about another Pokemon movie. It's not like happening yet, but like it's like potentially in the works. Which, you know what? Wouldn't be opposed to. And we can only pick one of these items. Should I save it and then maybe reset to uh, see what the other one is and then we'll choose the, the best one? I think I might do that. We'll see, we'll see. Nice and magma. Uh, I mean, mm, she could have flame body. I'm gonna go for Brave Bird. Try one shot you. Nice. Oh, it's just about. Oh, the burn. The burn. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> let's go to the Don. Really hurt. Oh no. Okay, let's do it again. Come on, the. Oh, we're gonna miss. No, don't let me down. Right, here we go. Here we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did it before. You can do it again. Come on. Ah, oh, for a split second. For a split second, I thought I was going to get another crit and then do it. If I did, I, pr I probably would have screamed. I would have freaked out so hard. It was close, though. It was close. Alright, let me save it and then we can see which one is... Wait. We don't even have strength. So I can't even do it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, right. Should I just run and go and heal? I might go and heal up. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, we're back, nice and healthy, let's continue this. Burn down the jungle, burn down the system, burn down every- oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's- maybe, maybe just chill a little bit and not- don't burn down everything. I mean, that sounds like an arsonist, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's keep discharging, hopefully we're gonna take you out. Flamethrower is gonna hurt with the sun up. Are you kidding me? I just healed up. It's fine, I'll speed it. Got some milks, got some full heals. It's all good. Wait, is uh, Galade level 60 yet? No, it's 59. We're getting there. Right, so gonna potion. And full heal. Alright, we good, we good. I'm just hoping we get. Oh, Jolteon and Galade to 60 very soon. Alright, well you got- oh, you got a lot of Pokemon here, this should be a big battle. Right, uh, what do, what do? I need a Thunder Fang. And then we'll go Brave Bird. Not bad, not bad. That's definitely gonna one-shot it, surely. Let's go! Life orbed Brave Bird. You don't want to get hit by that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And you missed. Oh, it sucks to be you. Dude, it really sucks to be you. Alright, uh, let's go for an aerial ace. Oh, you're going to draw Cypher. Okay. That's fine. Cacturn is grass dark, isn't it? So, a pin missile should easily take it out. If we can get, oh, okay, I'm gonna, uh, just heal up a little bit. Don't wanna lose Star Raptor. I can't pin missile. Do your thing. Dark Punch. Okay. Oh, look at that damage. Come on. Voltion. Ah, oh, three times? Come on, dude. One more would've been so nice. That thing's done a lot of damage as well. Okay, I'm just gonna switch out. When in doubt, don it out. You're gone. And the Cypher can come back out and get wrecked. 
Well, you have another Pokemon, so you can always go for that. And Kyber is now level 60. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's a switch out. Easy. Uh, let's go Earthquake. Does Claydor have Levitate? I feel like it might do. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the Dawn critical hit. You suck. This guy's actually pretty tough. Uh, let's go with Kyber. I'm gonna go for a Surf, and then we're gonna go for the yeah, Zen Headbutt. Just need a little bit of damage, just in case. The Surf's gonna finish both off, so it's all good. Nice. I think she has two more. You got Cypher and one more Pokemon, right? Or two more? No, one more. Oh, Arstoise. Okay. Okay, I see. Alright, Ice Punch that and then, uh... So, how about the... Oh, Protect. You suck. At least the Cypher's gonna get taken out. Good. Go Hyper Voice and Zen Headbutt. Not bad damage, to be fair. Not, ooh, critical hit. Got the flinch, let's go. It's gonna protect. Oh, he didn't protect, let's go. You'll love to see it. All right, so now we gotta do some switcheroo. Uh, I'm gonna take off XP share. Give it to the Don. What are you even holding? I mean, look, oh, okay. So I forgot about that. Uh, I'm gonna use a rev I should go to the Revival Herb to put last episode. Let's use them. Got one Revive. Got ten of these. That's all good. All right. Let's continue on through the mountain. Oh, Volcano. You wouldn't believe how much I paid to acquire my Pokemon. Okay. Pay to win right here. What a loser. Pay to win is the worst. All right, Gibble, uh, we should probably definitely switch out. Let's go Shima, we can ice punch it. Also, I mentioned last episode that I got sad that I didn't catch a, uh, a shiny Sableye during Go Fest. Same with Gibble. Didn't get a shiny Gibble, which is a bit disappointing. But to be fair, like, Go Fest, um, I saw a lot of people complain about the shiny ratio. Like, I got a fair few shinies and I didn't play the whole day. I, all the events and stuff, like the paid events, the only reason I ever, like, pay for it is I don't care about getting, like, for example, Victini's gonna release to everyone at some point. I don't care about getting Victini early. I don't care about the shinies. I don't care about the, you know, the raids and stuff, whatever's going on. All I care about are the regionals. Because I'll see how the world is right now. I'm not going to travel, and even if the world was fine, I 99% wouldn't travel. I would love to, but just not like possible at the moment. I'm always there. So for me, regionals are just something like I never get my hands on, unless uh, I can manage to trade with someone. But being able to catch it myself is so much more satisfying. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm like I know there's a few people like me, but I feel like it's a bit weird. But also, I, I don't know, I just can't help it. I, I prefer getting stuff myself. Like with, with Pokemon Go, I was like, okay, I want to complete the Pokedex. It's like the first time ever I want to complete a Pokedex on Pokemon, but I was like, I want to do it myself. I had the chance to get a, um... oh, what did someone offer me? Oh, it was, I think when Gen 3 launched, I, I can't remember if it was a Corsola or a, Tropius. But I was at a raid once and someone said they can, you know, trade me one. I was like, would it have been Gen 3 or would it Gen 4? I don't know, it was it was a while ago. I was like, nah, I'm, nah, I'm good. And then, uh, yeah, never, never got it. But I kind of want it, but at the same time, I want to get myself. But the problem is, like, a lot of people go, oh, you want to trade. You know, you want a regional, trade me like a shiny or something rare for it, because obviously regionals are quite rare. But I know there's some people that traded a lot for like Corsola, Heracross, and what was it for Gen 2 regionals? Uh, someone traded a lot for like Gen 2 regionals, and then shortly after, I don't want to say shortly, like not too long after, 
like Corsola became available in like the UK, like pretty much. Oh, your bulbs off. Oops, my bad. I was paying attention. I was trying to think. Um, yeah, like Corsola became av available. So uh, I was like, oh, I got caught, caught a Corsola myself, and a lot of people traded good stuff for it. And now it's just, you know, if you play for them three days, everyone would have got one. But I mean, not everyone starts at the same time, so it's, it's fair play. But yeah, I don't, I don't really want to. I would never trade like. If someone was like, oh, I've got a spare regional for you, you can have for, like, a Pidgey, I'd be like, oh, maybe I'll consider it. But if someone said, you know, trade me your shiny Rayquaza, I'd be like, hell no. Because I just know, knowing my luck as well, I'd, I'd do it. And then, like, a day later, Niantic will be like, Ayo, that regional you just got, it's now available for an event. And I'll just be, I'd be sad. I'd be super sad. Just, I'm just really hoping... Like, Niantic did, like, a, a Gen 1 regional event with, like, all the uh, regionals for Gen 1 being in uh, 7k eggs. Hoping they do that with Gen 2, because the only Gen 2 regional I need is, uh, is Heracross. Get a Heracross, and then I'm um, completely Gen 2. Then Gen 3, I believe I need Tropius, Torkoal. Kecklon hasn't been released. Oh, do you damage jump off? Yes. Go on, then. What are you, crazy? I'll get burned to a crisp. Pfft. Loser. Um, yeah, Torkoal, Torkoal, Tropius, Kecleon, I feel like there's one more. Let's go to the summit. Alrighty, going up. Alright, uh, don't need to pop a repel, be good. Ooh. Looking quite nice. Ooh, healing station, and there's the, uh, the shadow again. What are you doing here? What do you want from me? And they're gone. Anything around here? Ooh. What's this? Overheat. Not bad. Not bad. Where are you, little brother? <laughs> Panko suck. You suck. Voltsy? You okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. So what the hell is Moltres, huh? Must have flown away. The cheeky son of a... He's gone. Let's go. Hey! Now wait just a damn minute. I climbed all, I climbed all the way up this mountain for what? An anticlimax? That, my Moro's little uh, friend, is not how I roll. How about a battle? A battle? Yeah. And the sun's shining, we've got a beautiful view. And we don't want to end this adventure on a bum note, do we? No, I guess not. Okay. Alright, that's the spirit. Now give me everything you've got. I won't hold back. Oh, I ain't gonna hold back either. You ain't ready for the don. Alright, got five Pokemon, that's fine. Meganium, uh, we could probably just go for Pin Missile. Got hit five times. And you hit twice. Of course. Alright, it's gonna go into Typhlosion because the sun's up. Flamethrower will be super nice. Solar Beam. Ha! Oh, oh, what the? Okay, critical hit. I see you, Meganium, I see you. Go on, go on, go on. Nice! Ooh! Stupid crit. Alright, Steelix. Steelix versus the Don. Got this. Of Quake. Level 62. Ooh. We're fine, we're fine. Keep spamming Earth Quake. Weavile, okay. Oh, that's not bad damage. Just gotta go for a rock smash though if we can get this off. I don't think this should kill us. The Don's pretty strong. He said. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, this Weavile is pretty strong as well, actually. Uh, not liking this. Honestly, this is not good. I don't want to go for Surf because the sun's up, but just for... Oh, wow, critical hit. I thought Shima would actually live. Didn't do as much as I was hoping, but this is 
This is actually going really bad for us. This Weavile was just destroying me, dude. I don't outspeed it with Rex Wrapped. Okay, I have to go to Volteon. There's anything I can outspeed it. Or not. I know Weavile's a fast, but finally, oh my goodness. This is not going well. If I can beat her without healing up or reviving, I will. But this is going to be tough and. Ah, oh, dude. Ice Punch with Shima would have been so good right now. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? I, I have to. I didn't want to, but. Uh, Revival Herb. Ice Punch that bad would have finished up at level 66. Ooh, yikes. It's fine, it's fine. Get confused soon anyway. Nice punch. Stop, stop, okay. Right, we definitely take it out. Got Steelix left, and then one more Pokemon. That's the Steelix. I know the sun's up, but I'm hoping Surf can still do a little, a little bit of damage. It's not bad. Uh, we should outspeed it. Close combat should finish it off. Please don't heal up, Laura. I mean, you have every right to, because I healed up, but good. All right, last Pokemon. Please be weak to electric or flying. That would be so good. Houndoom. Okay. We're gonna die. Yeah, folks, the defense drops with um, close combat. Oh, dude, if we outsped that, I think we could probably. I don't think we one shot it, but I think we come close. All right, so, all we've got to do is. Uh... I'm gonna play it safe just because the sun's up. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I'm going to do a lot more damage for a second then. This is how you cheese, man. This is how you cheese. You just perish song and then... If we can get a Don to get the HP, that'd be great. The HP, the XP, sorry. It's all good, and the burn. Doesn't really matter. It's going to waste a turn. And then we go for Surf. Oh no, I got taken out. Now we go to the Don. There's no way he one-shots the Don, right? There's like, no way. Oh, a Fire Blast, maybe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was so close. I honestly forgot we had Sturdy. I didn't think we had it for a second, but... Holy crap, where did that come from? Revival Herbs, baby. Dunno. I'm in a better mood now, though. So thanks. You're welcome. Oh, I found this feather in the middle of our battle. You want it? Yeah, go for it. It's probably important for some uh, contrived reason. <laughs> right. We should go back to the arena now, right? You know, Voltsy, I was thinking. One, one of us will probably be leaving the competition soon. And after that battle, well, I can see who's more likely to come out on top. Laura. Oh, I'm not upset or anything. Don't worry. I'm not your brother. Sorry, too soon? Anyway, I can see the end of our journey on the horizon, and it scares me a little, you know? But we'll still be friends though, right? After all this is over. Oh, of course, I wouldn't doubt that. I just think we should all. What was that? Hmm? Like so Moltres to be bigger, more majestic, with flaming wings. Oh great, this guy. Did you fly up here? Well, of course I did. A Dragon Master wouldn't uh, exactly take public transport now, would he? <laughs> anyway, have you, have you two seen Moltres? I intended to add him to my team. Nope, sorry. He was gone when we got here. Really? How odd. <laughs> Gabriel, where have you been? You flew off. Without me. <laughs> sorry, but my Dragon Knight's delicate creature? Um, I thought you'd weigh us down. Anyway, there's no Moltres here. Only these two kids. How dispiriting. Where are your parents anyway? I mean, Eamon, buddy, you're looking at your biggest competition. Meet Voltsy and Laura. So that must mean... Oh. Now I see the resemblance. Hmm? Never mind. I apologize. 
I saw the end of your battle, by the way. It was rather spectacular. Of course, you have a while to go until you can take on the Dragon Master. But that looked like a, steep, a step in the right direction. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually have to fight for my little title this time. <laughs> I thought you two might uh, might be up here. It's time for the tournament. Cool. Can we get a lift back with you, Eamon? Certainly. The more the merrier. You coming, Voltsy? Yes. Sure, let's go. All right, hold on to your butts. Wait, wait. Oh, Gabriel. Sucks to be you. Right, so... We need to prepare for the tournament. Before we go do the tournament, though, which we'll be doing next episode, we have a side quest to do. Which is going to be, um... Like I said at the start, a little bit drippy. So we go around here. And we deliver the pink lily we got from the jungle to these people. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go? Fine. I mean, I got attacked by tree lizards, but whatever. Cool, man. Cool. Now let's smoke this bad boy. Right. The pink lily has boiled. So everyone take a drag. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. Wow. Nice colours. Is anyone else seeing this? <laughs> hmm, interesting. Ooh. Can we even like, get anything in here? Can surf. Um, okay. <laughs> C and D, C and D. <laughs> okay. Up to 50, to 75, to 100, 115, 130, 145, 150, 151. It's the only number I need. <laughs> uh, right, uh, let's go around. Oh, wait, we can walk on part of that? Okay. Oh! We have an encounter of a. <gasps> a polywell! Which looks, um. It's got what? It's Poliwhirl with Gligas hands and uh, Nuzleaf's like legs. Fox is just a name, Fox is just a name, Fox is just a name. <laughs> Can't read the signs. <laughs> oh dude. Oh. Got Onyx fused with... I don't know. That would be. It just looks so odd. Let's go. Now we're in a town. Ooh, that didn't taste good. Uh, can't go in there. <laughs> it's a wild trip, man. It's a wild trip. You know, why does that actually look kind of cool? Can we catch this stuff, actually? Oh, okay. Can't catch it. It's not real. I was gonna say, like, I wouldn't mind using that actually. It's really cool. What is it? It's a wheezing, knocked out. The hair's been feeling like Mercro or something, but. Oh, okay. Oh, we got just a Giratina just, just chilling. <laughs> Can't talk to you. Can't heal up if we want. Got the Poliwhirl again. Oh, hi. We have a battle, let's go. <gasps> oh, it's a white light. And the Arbok actually looks kind of cool. Uh, let's try to discharge how much damage we can actually do. Not bad, actually, not bad at all. Oh, okay, okay, chill. We do a lot of damage too. And Don't fans level 59, let's go. We're getting there, dude. More trainers to battle. Gonna fight them all. Because seeing these like cool fusions is actually kinda cool. This is the one I remember the Onyx, well, the, sorry, the Steelix and the Bastiodon. Looks really sweet. I should probably switch. Bastiodon? Hey man, you're messing with the Don. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Got sturdy. We needed to. Uh, we just got Earthquake and hopefully one shot you. In before you have sturdy. Oh no. 
Oh, my luck. That sucks. Of course, you have sturdy. Uh, let's go, Rex Raptor. Let's go for a quick attack to finish you off. Critical hit. Not like we needed it at all. He had one HP, but like I said, it's always, always nice to get a crit. Yo, what you got? Show me something interesting. Bra oh, the Breloon. <laughs> it looks, oh, okay. It looks so wrong. Oh, it's got a flamethrower. Like, apart from the face, I kind of dig it a little bit, to be fair, though. I love seeing Pokemon fusions. Oh. oh we got big temple. Wait. Yeah, nothing over there. <laughs> There's the swamp. Just going for like, the place we've been before, no. It's Max. Just <laughs> oh my god, it's a real life Blastoise. Because this game has one of some of the most creative like side quests, it's just so funny. And we're naked now, Timmy. That's why you don't do drugs. <laughs> Hey man, um, here are your clothes. Thanks. Hey, where's my underwear? Oh, you burned it in the fire. So it was a sacrifice to the Dark Lord Giratina, whoever that is. Oh. Yeah, you should probably apologize to a few people. Anyway, see you around, man. <laughs> what we got here? We got, ooh, sludge bomb. Wait, where even are we? Oh, over here. Okay, I know where we are. So while we're here, we also need to go this way. Go down. Gotta get fly before we uh, before we head back. Oh, maybe I'll get rid of some Star Raptor. Probably be Aerial Ace. Or Quick Attack. Can I get rid of Quick Attack? I don't know. Don't know what I want to do, but here's the feather. Okay. Feather, you want a special feather? I got your feather. I don't recall making such a request. You sure it was me? After all, I am Birdman. I have lots of feathers already. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. You look like a determined uh, guru. So take this. Yay. Great, thanks. Bye. Uh, hasta ele... Yeah, hasta... Hasta amigo. Amigo. I can't remember. I took Spanish like... Uh, how long ago would that have been? 2013 years ago? Like, only some stuff is like stick with, stuck, stuck with me. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna end this part here. Next episode, we are gonna take on the next round of the arena. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.